Oh. Okay, from the top. Good evening, accounting peoples, and good evening, elite. So tonight is March 7, Tuesday. Tumingin mo na ako kalendar, baka nagkakamali ako. So for tonight's free webinar, uh, later maybe our guest speaker will introduce the company and yourself para po mas makilala natin sila. And this is our way to give to the community some updates and of course bonding time na rin natin kung may mga questions kayo dito or regarding your freelancing journey chance nyo na magtanong at mag-update sa atin kung anong uh, pwede nyo yung ma-share or may tanong kayo mamaya sa ating guest speaker so okay let's start but before we start of course we'd like to anyone who would like to lead the prayer aside po sa akin Diyan ba si, ano, may tagalid tayo ng prayer eh. Ayan si Raisa. Raisa, sorry. Yan, nahanap talaga kita. Sige, pwede bang ilid mo kami ng prayer? Uh, hi, uh, ako po ba, coach? Yes, Raisa. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, sige po, sige po. <clears throat> okay, um, so uh, let's all bow our head and um, close our eyes. As we ask for the presence of the Lord for tonight's webinar, um, Lord, we are just um, here again asking for your holy presence to be with us tonight. As we come to you, Lord, I am lifting up to you the life of our coaches, the life of the speaker for tonight, Lord, and the life of my co-freelancers, Father God as a bookkeepers and as an uh, accountant, Lord. Father, um, may you guide us. May you guide each and every one of us. May you open our mind. May you open our hearts. May you, Father God, give us this constant understanding of what we're going to know tonight. And Father God, I pray that you'll just open our hearts, Lord. And um, we are asking, Father God, for all the blessings. We are asking, Father Lord, for all the the favors, Father God, na manggagaling sa'yo. All that we ask, Lord, Father God, all that we are, sa ngayon, Father God, na meron kami, sa ngayon na inaasam namin, Father God, sa, sa, sa bookkeeping, freelancing namin, Lord, Father, Ikaw lang yung makakapagbigay sa amin. And we are just here, Lord, with a humble heart, God, to know more, to learn more, to be more, Father God, for our dreams, Father God, for our goals, for our families, God. Lord, all this we ask, and we just want to give you praise. We just want to lift your name up high. And uh, Father God, all this, Father God, inilalaan namin sa inyo yung tagumpay, yung success ng gagawin namin, Father God, sa araw-araw. And uh, all the praises be with you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. And everybody says, Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you, Miss Reza. So sorry, ikaw ang aking yung favorite mag-prayer because so far powerful. So uh, again, lagi nating uh, lagi naman tayong ganun pag nagbi-webinar, lagi unahin natin mag-pray before we start any activities para guided po tayo sa ating lahat ng gagawin. So tonight, again, uh, this is our chance to have some bonding and updates. So without further ado, maybe Sir Shad, let's do the honor. Introduce yourself. Okay, absolutely. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Kamusta po? Uh, I know it has been a, um, I think it has been a very long uh, time as well, no? seeing a lot of freelancers transitioning from, you know, the, 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 the corporate jobs basically to a more you know streamlined and at the same time uh you know uh yung timing more free for everybody and i think miss yan yan uh you know and i had a really good conversation around your you know this industry you no know, the freelance industry and how and opportunities around this has already been um available for everybody and basically uh you know to introduce myself i'm shad uh, roy de la cruz i work at spenmo as the partnership uh head and what exactly i do there is really building out 
uh, cases and at the same time uh, opportunity no around uh, uh, possible potential partners that we can have in utilizing our solution or platform which i will be sharing today as well and do a little bit of a deep dive on ano ba talaga tong si spend mo? What, what exactly can it do and how can it help uh, you know the accountants and also at the same time the different businesses here in the Philippines and probably for those who are also doing or have clients in in abroad no? so uh just to let you know some of the few things that probably i would i know discuss as well might be limited to the philippine market uh, but i will also share you know more context about that later on as well so perhaps miss yan guide me through the yeah. agenda <laughs> Yeah, so for tonight, yeah, igagay tayo ni Sir Shad kung sino ba si Spend mo. So for sure, chinek nyo ngayon. Kahit check nyo ngayon sa, sa Google si Spend mo. Uh, kasi ako din, first time ko din itong marinig. And as an accountant and as working remotely, again, our goal is to be maging equipped kayo and then maging updated. Ano na ba ang latest? O mga marites, ano na ba latest? So lagi tayo dapat, sabi ko, innovation. This is the freelancing kasi like kung sinasabi sa inyo, lagi kayo dapat aware sa mga pagbabago, innovated. So kapag hindi kayo uh, innovative in a way, you will be left behind. And sabi nga nila, nat- ang dami ng success, natutulog pa rin kayo. So pag tinanong kayo or something magiging valuable kayo every day in your life is to keep on updated what's the latest. And this spend mo is offering, even me, na-surprise ako na may ganito palang platform, which is sometimes... Kahit ako, nung ma-share ko na lang, nung before ako mag-corporate, nung nag-transition ako sa freelancing, nung nag, nag-in and out na yung, kasi di ba nag-COVID, tapos in and out na, hybrid po, tapos sa office, ganyan. Tapos, doon ko na-realize na pag-change ko ng freelancing, pagbalik ko sa boss ko, sabi ko, boss, pwede na palang mag-work remotely, possible pala yon Pwede mo bang i-consider na mag-ganun na din, mag-ganun nga rin sa susunod yung, yung company mo? So, isa tong si spend mo is a way of um, managing expenses. And then again, na maging worry-free na and sobrang bilis na lang. Although hindi naman siya, eto ma-share ko lang ulit, merong nagtanong sa akin sa interview portion, uh, ano daw ang magiging effect ng AI sa atin? Sino bang binakakarelet sa artificial intelligence? Right? So, merong tatanungin sa inyo na ganyan, pero... Yes, merong AI, meron pa ring mga innovative na mga mangyayari sa sa buhay natin. Although ang accountant pa rin, meron pa rin siyang capacity to mas analytical, logical. Pero may way pa rin mapadali ang buhay natin as an accountant. So again, I think Spend will help us on part of our accounting and financial statement. Again, giving value to the client. I hmm. think uh, yeah, that's siguro yun yung masasagot about the topic for tonight. So Let us hear from Sir Shad. All right, sige. So anyway, I'll do a, I know, I'll do a quick presentation. So, and then at the same time, I'll do a, a demo, you no, know, a demo, a workflow demo on the platform as well. And then later on, we'll have a time as well for Q and A. So for those na baka may mga question kayo uh, regarding the platform as well, so we'll we'll tackle that as well. So Miss Yan, is it okay for me to share screen? Uh, okay, sure, sure. okay. Naman. So, yeah. Alright. So, yeah. Let me know if you guys can see my screen now. Nakikita naman, no? Alright. Yes, so, po. Yeah. Nakikita. Alright. Thank you, po. So, yeah. so, anyway. uh, So, you know, what you're looking at basically is the website of Spenmo. And uh, at the very high level of what we are imagining Spenmo to become. And what where we are as well is to become a consolidated uh, platform focused on accounts payable. And AP, as we all know, is really focused in the expenses part of every business and or every company or every uh, clients that you may also have. No? And the, the, the function of how Spenmo you know, see ourselves is if you utilize the channels, the payment channels that we have, you can automate a lot of the logging or encoding of all those expenses. 
which at the same time keeps track of those expenses that goes out of the business. That's one. Uh, you know, having that certain control over the money that is leaving the organization. And number three is basically having uh, you know full visibility and and at the same time comfort no, that oh ang pera ng business nakikita ninyo. So I know uh, a lot of you probably are currently focused in the you know in in overseas market. I think uh, question lang po how many of you here still have local clients, Philippine clients. Yeah, if you can probably put it in the chat if you have uh all right, we see a lot panaman. So okay, so uh correct so i think uh you know there are still a lot of us uh, practicing no locally especially syempre may mga small businesses madaming small medium or even micro and small businesses right now in the philippines uh, as per tally by D dti alone uh, may i know for four to six million uh, within metro manila so we can see that that number can even grow further out no uh outside of metro manila so um so we'll we'll so i'll dive into the details and the product of spenmo so the first feature that we have is called the corporate and virtual cards and among other i know uh uh solution that we have this one is the most uh used no, among the e-commerce market or yun sa mga nagmamanage ng uh ng, let's say Facebook or ads na sila. Uh, one of the reason is, uh, syempre, if you have an agency, mas gusto mo i-control yung mga pinispend mo for, let's say, for your client or for your, ano. So in spend mo, you can have a dedicated uh, virtual card or, you know, even physical card as well that you can uh, request from spend mo. And using this one, magagamit mo na siya to anywhere that accepts MasterCard. So as you can see, it's a it's a MasterCard, and uh, and you know, and every time you utilize this card, basically you can already uh, swipe this. No, you can swipe this to uh, to any terminal uh, or again to any digital platform that accepts the card. So I'll I'll explain more later on on how the this card work as well. Uh, second feature that we have is basically the bills payment no? and this one is really diving into uh, like disbursement so disbursement with uh, pr approval control so let's imagine of course lahat ng businesses requires uh, has a payment no? they have a payment to a supplier to to their vendors to their uh, you know, to their employees as well. So this one is more of having that streamline the disbursement channel. Nang lahat ng you know uh, payments na lalabas ng business. Uh, so pag may invoice, you can upload the invoice within the platform and then you can process it as well. So I'll show you a demo on that later on. And then at the same time, reimbursement requests. I think a lot of businesses no dito sa Pilipinas, uh, reimbursement is usually uh yun medyo sometimes it takes a lot of effort on managing reimbursement especially pag lumalaki or maraming employees yung company so uh streamlining that one basically lahat ng employee has a spendmo account sa submit sila sa account sa app na yun and then it can already be seen no within the platform already and once it's on the platform they can uh, you know once approved the disbursement can be done automatically as well. So yeah, so that's also something that can be offered. And of course, accounting reconciliation. So lahat ng data ng expenses na pre-nasses ni spend mo, makikita ninyo, you can also export it to zero or QuickBooks or at the same time, your customized Excel format. Naka-table format na siya, you can export it as well. So... Uh, that's really uh, the high level uh, of what Spenmo is. So I'll just jump into this one and, you know, just to go through an another level no, regarding the platform as well. So one of the things that we see here in the Philippines is that majority of payments na ginagawa uh, ng mga businesses is really focused in uh, paying through bank. And in the Philippines, I think if I'm not mistaken, 
majority check base talaga. So, you know, we have a check, magputi check. Pero we are seeing a huge decline as well of that check payments, uh, especially during the pandemic, no? uh we're in that a huge portion of check just went down and then digital payments uh, came in strongly you no know, compared to the check base uh that the thing I say with checks uh, there is certain laws that still applies to you know check based payment but of course uh in the philippines business processing ng mga mga payments sometimes really takes time you know and that's why they utilize checks para just to guarantee it but you know we are seeing more and more transition towards digital as we can see you know how many of you here na gumagamit araw-araw ng gcash or maya <laughs> i believe marami all right there you go see ma'am adele and sir ace no? so I think we are seeing more and more towards digital solution, surely, and also Miss Lu. So, uh, you know, one of the things that really transition towards a digital is that we get to have this so many channels, especially you know for let's say business related expenses. So it means that na mix up sa uh, sa personal expenses natin. So that's one. So mostly local and overseas payment, we usually prefer the banks or the e-wallet service that are available now. For expense claim or reimbursement naman. So mostly, yun, uh, we also process it through uh, you know, a different system. Meron akong client na ginagamit nila mag-e-email ng reimbursement doon sa accountant nila or accounting department pagdating na accountant minsan na na ano na, 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 na they cannot keep track of everything kasi madaming request so iisahin isahin pa and by the time na end of the month doon nag ano na sila nag nagahassle just to fill in every every reimbursement so, you know, basically, this is also one of the pain points. And then the last one is overseas payments as well. We're in majority when paying on uh, overseas, we utilize Western Union or transfer wise. Yun, meron yan. And then, of course, also reconcile it with your accounting software you know, or whatever. In the Philippines, very manual. Eh. We, we, ut- we see like about 60%. Uh, of uh, Filipino accountants prefers Microsoft Excel. If kayo po yon, paki raise lang ng hand <laughs> or or say yes yon. So anyway, uh, we see as well small and medium businesses no, spends an average. Yes, uh, very manual. <laughs> oh, but we see that businesses spend an average of seventy five plus hours in terms of managing their payables no, and this is really uh you know if you think about this a lot of time no not only para sa uh, mga accounting staff na mag encode na mag uh, magpa process ng uh, reimbursement yun lahat yun there are really a lot of time is wasted in just consolidating the data uh you know the data of those payments required every single month and uh we also have here uh businesses know that we have uh that are our clients currently that utilize uh spend more also so how we are seeing this basically change is uh you know having a centralized system wherein spend uh spending or expenses can be done and can be paid through a system through that platform where both employees and the finance team have access and have control over you know over that as well so the difference uh the approach here basically is that from your bank you can have a you know you have a spendmo account uh and then from your spendmo account you can go and transfer those data back to your accounting software again as you can see in highlight na namin dun yung si microsoft excel because we see again there's a lot of uh, businesses still really prefers um you know manual process no? and uh and then in the, this basically picture shows that really having a separate place talaga it's like a sub wallet or a wallet separate from the main bank no 
uh, where both of your sales or income flows as well. Uh, and then all of your expenses is in a spend management uh, solution. No? So this is what we are focusing. And uh, the goal here is that if it's a business related expense or yun, uh, it's an expense generated or needed by the business, uh, you can utilize Spenmo for it. So Spenmo in the Philippines, we are BSP licensed and uh, regulated as well. And we are a SEC registered business. And uh, we're, we're focusing a little bit into the B2B or business to business uh, processes now. And uh, again, as, uh, as we have shared here, one of those end users of Spenmo will probably you, no? Kayo. Uh, uh, mostly you will be the one to get the data out of it. Or you can you are also be let's say processing those payroll or processing those payments for ano so that can be something that you can also uh you know promote or something that you can have learn ahead no, about the platform as well as we enter or as we expand the, in the business to business uh, industry here in the Philippines. So the products and solution that I shared kanina uh, is the the corporate cards the disbursement with approval basically this is the bill payments and at the same time their employee reimbursement uh solution that we have so within the same uh you know within the platform as well so this is a, a photo or a picture of our dashboard you can see at the very top the the total spending and remaining balance in one place so you can see right there then you can also see a budget no budget uh, overview uh, pending action and also the cards that you can see within the platform. So what I'll do right now is I'll do a quick demo uh, uh, over the platform itself so you can uh, you know see it more clearly. So again from the very top right here in the top right corner you can see that there is this months company spending and this one is very uh, you know very uh, focused on uh, helping you understand how much does your business have spent in the period of time no? and uh, we you, you know we usually come in and ask people as well if alam mo ba magkano na na spend ng you know ng negosyo nyo or ng business mo over this time period uh, do you have an idea about this and most of them will say like ah, estimate nila parang ganto ganyan uh, pero Hindi nila, hindi din sila sure. So this one, if you you utilize Spenmo for those spending, you get to see real time the data of how much the business is spending. If nag over budget pa sila or nag over spending ba yung different groups, so yun uh, that could also be a be a question. The second here is the company balance. Basically, this is the fund no, uh, that you have currently in your Spenmo account. So, uh, topping up the, those company balance is very easy and quick. So, we have uh, this uh, options no, uh, through Instapay and PesoNet as well. And of course, we also have our partner banks where you can transfer the funds as well so that we can reflect the funds straight to doing the company balance. Ninyo. So, once we have that, basically it will come here and there's already three things that you can do. No? As mentioned, your bill payments or the disbursement uh, with approvals, cards, and then reimbursement and transfer. So in here as well, you can see this term uh, called budget overview. This one naman is really good if you want to have like a sub uh, handler or wallet for every for for every uh department or cost center that you have so for example your sales team so you can see that merong uh, balance right here you can see the personal balance that are currently under the sales team to yung remaining funds nila and then yung na spend nila so you can uh, you can segregate them you can group them in a smaller groups as well so that you can uh yun pwede nyo ililimit yung mga budget para makontrol nga so that that is something that you can customize here as well but let's go to the first option that we have which is bill payments no? the term bill payment is something more common in abroad but basically at the high level of this this is disbursement or pagbayad no payment dun sa 
mga supplier yun and 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 external external payables in here you can uh, upload no upload an invoice so if you have multiple invoices you can drag and drop it here but of course if you have a single uh, invoice and you want to use uh, the vendor management you can easily uh, utilize this one and then you can also see now there are different banks right here that are available and the account number right here so you can also see you can also see the payment purpose so that yung pag ano mo pag categorize on that specific line item makikita mo na but if you have an invoice file we can automatically extract the details from that document that you have either if it's a jpeg png or pdf we'll scan it and then we'll reflect all the data right here as well so one of the things that you can see here as well is that we have our flat uh, your fixed rate of transfer fee of 15 peso and regardless of the amount we don't really mind the amount we only charge the same uh, fee no? uh, so th this is a easier way to just have that you know sent out uh, easily as well within the platform no? uh, just letting you know we also utilize the insta pay and peso net uh, network basically so yeah i'll just put a random number here uh random details and then also you, for accounting purposes you can also do the category the tax if it's uh you know if, if you are bad or not but you can also do that here as well and then submit for approval once submit for approval every as mentioned lahat ng bills is is approval based so you can automatically see the details of the, the of that specific transaction right here the extract waiting for approval by any admin but of course if your specific i know if your specific bill it has different uh i know different different processes you can create your own approval flow also so for example this one uh, more than 100,000 as and part of the budget under sales team tsaka yung category niya is let's say bank fees tatlo yung magiging approver nito so that long approval step so they need the uh, approval step one basically needs to approve that first then jasmine and then of course robert needs to approve that as well and then once published Every time my bagong bill or my bagong submission, it will automatically fall in those uh, order no, of the approval as well. So basically, this is the approval. This also works as well in the reimbursement submission. All right. Okay. So this is a bill payment. So I'll just go to the next one. Basically, the cards. The cards, man, as mentioned, this is usually beneficial if you are spending digitally or you are utilizing business funds for you know for business related subscription so and you don't want to use your own personal credit card or personal data kasi pag magre-request ka na ng receipt sometimes it will show up to your name as well so this might be a better approach by utilizing business related uh, cards or uh, or funds as well basically para hindi na siya dumaan on hindi ka na magsasubmit ng reimbursement or things like that. So, best example nito is uh, you can create a virtual card easily here. So, marketing, uh, let's say Facebook, no? Facebook ads, marketing. And then we can say that it's a sales team and then we can put it on Robert Padden. Then you can set as well the spending limit, for example, and then we'll just say Facebook na. And then this is an ads default category. Then the moment you click confirm, it will generate no, it will generate the, the card for you. And as you can see, you can already see the live 16 digit details as quickly as uh, you know few seconds. No. So you can utilize this again to anywhere that accepts MasterCard already. And the funds basically it will be coming from the budget that we allocated it to. So since nagset tayo na sales team, dito siya magpo-fall. Uh, within the organization as well, you have different funding approach. So uh, so the first approach is basically to send money and request money. No? So if you are an employee, basically, you can request funds from your admin as well. So I'll just show you the, the roles right here. 
So there are uh, there are also case, uh, ways wherein you, the admin can allocate the funds or the admin can also claw back funds uh, uh, away from you. So let's go here under the budget. If we click sales, we can see no, that Robert Padin has zero dollar, uh, pesos and then Sally as well has 5,000. That's why the personal funds kanina was showing 5,000. Uh, but for this example, kasi, we can see that r both of them are admin. That's why you can see this one. But if you are an employee role, then you can only see limited option as well. So I will show you as well an example for that later on. So, okay. And then I'll just jump into the last one, which is reimbursement and request. Submission of reimbursement is very quick naman. They can submit, uh, let's say, you know, I mean, Lazada, for example, and then refund uh, or let's say office supply, you know, office expense. Then we spend about 10000 from sales team. Uh, and then we can just uh, do uh, randomly here. Yeah, spend for business uh, supplies and submit the moment submit again if you're an admin you will be notified uh, for that specific request the moment i approve this this money will be deducted from the company balance straight to the bank account of uh, that was added on on this uh, user's account basically here example is gcash ni jasmine so it will be transferred to that nominated account as well so at the high level here, all of the transaction will be shown at the transaction tab, and you can already export the data. No, as mentioned, as shown here, you can also do a formatted option already for zero and QuickBooks, and then at the same time, you can download the Excel format already right here as well, or a bank statement format. You know, basically just showing you that you have money or you have funds in in, in one of your accounts as well. And at the same time, just to highlight this as well, we have a strong integration with Zero. Uh, how many of you here are you utilizing Zero in some of your accounts or some of your clients that you may have? I am just uh, interested to also know. But anyway, uh, overall, uh, you know, you can utilize this to easily sync those data transaction back to zero or from zero back to uh, uh, to spend more as well for paying or processing those payments as well all right uh, probably I'll stop here for now and you know and then probably miss Yan you have any uh, things here but I would love to hear any ideas about uh, or any questions you may have right now Yes, guys, good evening. So, yeah, you have any questions or mga nakakanotang noon nila ata? Parang na-absorb pa nila yung mga nakikita nila. This is yes. the first time ba nakita nyo to? Paki-taas naman yung kamay or paki-yes? One. One, kung ngayon lang ito nalaman. One, kung ngayon lang ito nalaman. One. Daming one. All right. So, one. So, siguro ang tanong nyo, uh, sino dito may mga local client? Or ang target is local client. So, yung iba kasi nasa corporate pa and then siguro dito yung may iba dito mga accounting manager, but supervisor, or any may say sa company and isa siguro sa mga pain points or problem niya, syempre yan, disbursement, paano monitoring. Yes. So, I think, yan. Alright. Okay. So, question, Sir Shad. I think we have a question. Uh, all right. What is the difference with Spamo from the Philippines and the international one? Good question. So basically, the number one is uh, we actually have the same product almost. No? Uh, the only thing is that we're currently available in Singapore and only in Singapore and Indonesia for outside of the Philippines. So in Singapore, uh, we offer the same uh, offerings as well. The difference majority is actually the pricing. No? So in the Philippines, uh, in Singapore, you can see that the pricing nila is very, again, $39 yung starting nila, 99 
in the Philippines naman, uh, we are actually free. No? So you can utilize Penmo already, especially the, for small businesses no? who have uh, who wants to streamline their expense or spend management in a sense. So that's one. Uh, but of course, the product as well overall is almost the same, guys. So I uh, just wanted to also let you know that starting April or May, uh, no, the cards that I'm talking here, because right now is is um is not is not available uh, for you know for withdraw for withdrawing or withdrawals. But starting May, around uh, May, um, all of our cards will be available for withdrawing now. So uh, we, we do see this as like uh, an opportunity for businesses as well, you know, especially because uh, some of your micro and small businesses might benefit from this because we don't have maintaining balance. We don't have, uh, you know, ADBs like the banks offer as well. So this might be a good alternative for that as well, no? starting May, uh, you know, uh, of this year. Thank you. I'm seeing some more questions from, uh, is there a backup system Ms. Mer uh, from Ms. Teresa? No? Uh, what do you mean by backup system, uh, Ms. Teresa? Sir. Hi, hello. Opa. <laughs> ano po, bali? Uh, kasi sa amin, meron kami system. So, daily, binabackup namin yun, yung data. So, meron ganun ba? Uh, so, here's one of the best part about this, Ms. Yes. We are cloud-based. So, lahat cloud ng data, naka-organize na siya in your history of transactions. And the best part about this is that you, we will never delete, no? Wala kami. We're not banks. Since hindi kami bank. Uh, you have access to your data, you know, even from from the very very beginning as well. So, uh, you know, unlike for example, banks, uh, alam ko si Gcash at si Maya nagdi-delete yan every six months. So be careful oh, about that. So, uh, si ano pa? I think the banks as well. I think they keep naman, pero uh, you have to have like a letter of request for. For you to see like your earliest transaction, yeah, request through email. There, Miss Merli, tama, tama. So in our case, we don't really uh, control. Con basically, you, we give you full control of your data, mm -hmm. and you can download the data directly from your spam account. As well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wala siyang ADB, no? Yun ang maganda. Mm -hmm. Ayun lang, sir. Thank you. All right, thank you, Mister Ata. So okay, we have other question here. How much is the investment for that system? So as mentioned, yung price ng Philippines, we start with free. If you're a small, medium, uh, small, I think, no, small size business with uh, five, uh, you know, I mean, five users. I Again, I'm very much, uh, it's very much available for free to, to start, no. But if your business is really growing, dumadami yung clients, yung employees ninyo, and you have a use case talaga for a multiple card system, then yun, I think uh, paying essential might be a, a, an alternative for you as well. So again, it's a flat amount per month. If you have multiple uh, uh, employees, that should just should be okay. So again, uh, let's look at um, second question here. Any chance in expanding outside Asia anytime soon? Sir JP, yon. I think Singapore and uh and Indonesia right now, but we are also looking into expansion as well. So, um, yeah. So we are surely looking into expanding in Japan and other countries as well. No, hopefully soon. Uh, next question: Free until when? Is it a promo only, Miss Anna? No. So we are really dedicated to give the free for starter account. So you can utilize that one, especially if you have a small business. So that will be available. Is it more of a debit card, Ronald Abad? Correct, Sir Ronald. So it is a debit card. Uh, so you can uh, utilize that um, card, especially if you know if you want to control those spending as well. 
So, kasi pag credit card, open account, uh, open credit, mas mas mahirap yun. But pre-fund, uh, funding it yourselves and allocating it to your employees, that that is uh, that is also possible. Sige. Um, where are we here? Next one is, can we do also do uh, international payment just like bill.com? Uh, correct, correct. Tama po, Miss Mary, Christine. I see that you're very familiar with bill.com. Are you utilizing this po ba, Miss Mary, right now in one of your clients? Uh, if Miss Mary is here. Would love to learn more from you as well. So we. Hi, sir. Yeah. Uh, good Hi. evening. Uh, good yes, evening. Po, um, yes. Um, we are currently using Bill.com for my um current US client. client. Po, yes, sir. All right, tama. So we can also do a uh, payment, no international payment. Uh, but it's more of like from Philippines to to uh, other countries. So we utilize a SWIFT network. So one of the best thing as well here, just to let you know, we have a payment simulator here of how to, you know, when you're sending money overseas. So, you know, let's do a little bit of an example. Lang. And why this might be relevant, because if you're transferring funds from Philippines to US, uh, as you know, as I, I'm showing here, we're relatively, I think, you no, know, if I'm not mistaken, thirty or forty percent cheaper than the banks in terms of uh, transfer. So this might be a you know benefit. Because say we're utilizing mid market uh, uh, exchange rate. So whatever you see in Google, yun din yung exchange rate namin. So yeah, that that is also possible. So I'll just I know go back to Sir Jasper. Is it possible for the owner to grant report only view access tama sir so we have a uh, different kind of roles uh, so we have an accountant bookkeeper auditor uh, who can only see reports no financial details so we kind of like can limit as well and any the accountant they can also they can only do certain actions as well if they are budget owners or they've been assigned to it as well so just to I know that you can customize surely the and limit the, the permission of of each users that you have as well. All right. Okay, Jika. Uh okay. So next is Miss Hannah. I'm not sure if you mentioned petty cash expense. How do you manage petty cash funds in Spenmo, considering some expenses have no invoices or receipt? This is very, very good example. So um for petty cash. The usual approach dito namin is that we utilize bill, no bills transaction transfer funds to their GCash or to your, you know, to the, your uh, employees GCash. So that means you just have like the end process trail of sending out uh, a, a a payment to one of your employees. So let's do a little bit of an example here. So for example, it on John Lester, you can transfer to account niya. No, let's say you have dedicated the funds to Lester, then he can request this one to transfer to his own uh, bank account, and then that it can be used as like uh like a petty cash. So let's say you know we can say example that this account is a Gcash, Gcash account, yeah. So you can transfer the funds from Spenmo, so that there's still a trail, no, or the trail of that specific uh money or petty cash that you have provided. So that is can be done in that way as well. Uh, at the high level, the approach kasi ni spend mo is control. Eh. So, gusto mo it control yung lumalabas na pera. And then you have also the audit trail para makita mo siya. But transferring it and approving it will probably take few minutes for sure. Kasi real time naman yung pag-transfer namin. So, ito lang yung difference ni spend mo kasi we are full digital already and we understand that there are a lot of businesses really utilizing local or or you know or cash based parent so uh, we uh you know encoding it basically is probably going to be a separate uh transaction uh, later on but you know this is something that we're also very aware of na, that we can probably improve and add on to future features so yeah, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, more yeah, questions. and more questions. Yeah. 
More question, guys. Is it helpful? Meron ba kayong bago na tutunan? Ayan, may tanong pa po. Ayan. Ayan, Israel. Yes, sir. May mga tanong pa. How can we limit or customize the role per user? Do we have the option to check or uncheck? Uh, sir Israel, at the moment, uh, wala siyang uncheck unless if you provided, uh, you know, like uh, permission. For example, uh, an employee account, no? Let's go back then dun sa role. Uh, if an employee account, no, we assign him to a budget uh, budget owner uh, na role, then he will have an access to create cards and approve cards as well. Same thing with accountants and same thing with bookkeeper. Pero pag wala lang siya, so that means this is X, hindi siya pwede gumawa. Hindi rin siya pwede mag-approve ng reimbursement tsaka mag-request ng bill pay. And uh, but if no, if he is assigned as an approver for bill payment, then pwede yun. So uh, assigning approval is basically you create the approval flow, and uh, you can assign them to that specific uh, approval uh, you know flow here. I think my ano lang, my not this downgrade is possible. Tama. You can remove them. The moment you remove their permission. You can downgrade them as well. So you can change uh, their roles from here as well. All right. Um, sige. Uh, Adele Javier for some learning. I am thinking about you want to have a budget solely for freelance. Tama po, pwede naman yan. Miss Agnes, is this is that system customizable? Say the company needs monitoring of expenses per cost center or cost center. Tama po. Correct. So, our cost center here is called budgets. So, you can create uh, budgets, no? custom budgets per per ano nyo, per cost center. So, that that is, this is kind of like our, our cost center uh, uh, name as well. Pwede po ba isink si PayPal? Uh, at the moment, no. No, we don't really work with PayPal at this level, uh, Miss Apple. Since we are, uh, you know, we are a separate, uh, separate uh, fintech solution then. So, at the moment, if you are collecting, no? Again, remember, Spenmo is more focused to uh, expenses. We're not really focused in collection. So, if you, you want to utilize collection, then you can utilize other banks. And just to highlight going back here as well. So how Spenmo position itself is more of a separate wallet so that all of your expenses goes out. And then at the same time, all the data is here. And then that you can you can utilize, uh, you can get this, the data of your expenses, business related expenses to uh, your uh, favorite accounting software. No? But it is completely, the goal is to separate it from your bank and utilize Spenmo as a, as a a, a wallet, a separate business wallet, specifically for keeping track of those AP related expenses. So, all right. Ayan, dumadami ang question. Nag, mga kumain na kayo ng dinner. Ayan, dami lang question. <laughs> How about for electronic filing and payment of tax ABI? Good question, Miss Marnelli. This is actually one of the things that we uh, are also pushing towards. No? Um, Right now, we don't have that automatic filing, no? especially uh, with holding taxes or you know the two three o seven. Yung uh, yung goal namin uh, is to establish or create that feature in the next three months. I'll just tell you now, because yung pag-establish nun namin is that we want to integrate completely. So when you pay, no, when you pay your, uh, if you're a withholding agent your company or your client, for example. So they can also parang have a filing uh, on top of that as well. And then payment to uh, BIR as well. So that that is something that can be done uh, that we are working on right now to to complete within the next three uh, plus months. No? Uh, the other side of this, I think, no, uh, is we have a partner as well you know, that we are you know we are working closely platforms such as Taxumo. so i think nakita niyo naman kanina so we are partner with them uh, they have already a huge platform no? Taxumo. 
uh, in terms of managing this one. And then at the same time, one tax as well. See, either way, one tax or tax somo, they, they are good friends of ours uh, that we see as well that they are they have a system no in terms of filing automated filing so all right so for that miss marnelli you know we would love to to i uh, know to to have you and, and 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 explore the platform the moment also that we have the the filing and payment all right, so next one is how about the insurance of the fund? So uh, as mentioned, sir, we are BSP, licensed and regulated. And uh, we don't have the, since we are not a bank, we are more of a wallet. So we don't really have the PDIC thing, uh, just like your Gcash, just like your Maya, uh, you know, or Maya kasi bank na rin eh. So yung, ano, yung system ni, ano, ni Gcash, you know, just letting you know, People put a lot of money in it, but it's not PDIC insured. So we're 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 on the same level there. So, uh, but again, since we are BSP uh, regulated, all of the transaction and all of the process uh, for funding is basically still reports to to them. So if there are dispute and there are you know cases for that. Um, you know, we will go through the BSP uh, regulation on top of that as well, investigation. Pero, you know, just to be more straightforward to this one, uh, our goal is to simplify the process for our clients. If there are cases that, you know, your money was gone and everything, I think uh, it will be Spenmo that will need to refund everything completely for, for you know, for you uh, after we discover or whatever happened on your on your account as well so yeah just uh, a little bit of assurance on our end as well if it's our i know uh, security issue so anyway uh next one is miss teresa as well nakalink siya ba sa abang account right now not yet uh, uh the process is insta pay and peso net miss teresa but uh again the goal here is that later on you can integrate or add your bank so you can just transfer funds easily no? So that is something that we are working on too as well. Is it same Puba so Venmo or Alipay, Sir Jovi? No. So Spenmo is more of a business wallet. No. Again, it's really Venmo is more ano eh, more of like a Gcash eh. uh, or you know something that can be shared across. Kami naman, sir, more into ano, more into business related. I mean, I'm sorry, Jovi, Mr. Jovi or Sir Jovi. To I know to to have that no to to keep track of your expenses. All right, uh, Miss Yan, are you okay? <laughs> I've yeah, seen more. Yeah, huh? tanong pero ano yan? So may nakalibutan pa tayong tanong guys. Uh, parang may nakalibutan. Yeah, Miss Agnes. So the process of the I know the 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 registration no is is through I know through. I think the best one is wala pa tayong link miss yan no on our interest form pero perhaps I can send it to miss yan and then we can uh you know if you have interest go to miss yan and then uh we will connect you na lang through from through miss yan as well is that would that work miss miss yan yeah, uh, uh, unless uh yun, kung gusto niyo gamitin may questions update avail siguro yun. And then we can set, siguro another meeting ba yun, sir? Ano ba yun? Para sa training or something? Correct. So I think, uh, ano lang, we can continue conversation if you are interested. Message me si Yan and then we can set up like our own group no on 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 uh, on how you can create the account as well. Kasi right now, you can also go to our website and, and sign up there. Uh, but I think it's best that we can uh, track you guys as well. Uh, you know, to to help you directly, we can help you directly on the process of creating your account. So yeah. May nakalimutan ba kami tanong guys? Pa up na lang ulit. Ah, may tanong dito. How does spend more earns revenue because membership is free? <laughs> right. Good question. So I think I I have highlighted several points though. Uh, ad, uh that I've mentioned is number one is. As you can see, we have a fixed flat rate of 15 peso. Uh, whatever, the, regardless of the amount, we have 15 peso flat rate. 
Uh, from that, you can probably say that we earn like few pesos out of that transfer. No? Uh, second is basically cards. No? Cards naman is, uh, is a partnership no, with MasterCard. So every time you spend, we also have our revenue there. But of course, it comes from a volume. No? The more you spend, the more we earn. Pero if we hindi ka spend, uh, then of course, we don't really get a lot. So probably around 1%, no, you can say, or May less. question ako dyan. Bigla nag-aray siyang question ko. Do you know, <laughs> sir, kasi di ba, patingin po ng card, is it yeah, Visa, Visa or MasterCard? MasterCard, MasterCard. So, sir, pwede ba yan i-link? Kasi meron dito, guys, di ba nag-upward kayo? Meron doon, may nagtanong sa akin, misin, paano makakabili ng connects? So, I think there's a, in sa upward, merong option doon to fund the, the connect. Pero naisip ko, baka pwede itong i-link. Tama ba? To link the card? Yes, sir. Um, Kasi hindi yung MasterCard number doon eh. Tapos, i-link hmm. mo siya. Pwede naman, pwede. Yeah. Ayun, may nagtanong ka din na paano na bumili ng yeah. Upwork. So, But it's... as long as hindi ka mag-send money yes. from your Upwork to here, no? Just for verification, pwede yun. Uh. Yes. Uh, actually, useful siya. Kasi marami sa mga freelancers, sometimes mag, uh, uh, bibili ka ng Canva, bibili ka ng any trial. Oh, subscription. Ka. Tama. Yun, yun pala. Useful nga talaga siya sa atin, guys. Kung yun ang, yun ang goal nyo. Tama ba? Yun. Yeah. So, alright. Makalimutan ko tayo. Did we answer all your questions, guys? May na-miss out ba kami? Para makatulog kayo. Baka hindi kayo makatulog kasi hindi namin nasagot. <laughs> Sige. So, again, guys, uh, so for at the high level dito, uh, spend mo uh, is something, a platform that you can surely explore, no? Uh, this is something that can help you separate those expenses of your personal to more of a business-related na mga expenses. So that's how we see things going forward as well. So it's a work niyo, it's a, it's a negotiation niyo, or like uh, if you're planning to really establish uh, a business around the things that you do, this might be a, a good option for you already, no? To, to utilize and a uh, few of the things as well is that spendmo is best for businesses from the start because it can really help you to create that flow already it says uh, if you already have a bigger business and then we do a change management medyo mahirap din yun. Uh, we but of course if you have current clients in the philippines that you think no makaka benefit sila dito Uh, then of course you can also uh, refer them to to us you know? and we can uh, you know we can meet with them kami na bahala paano mag close and of course uh, we also have the you know just we also have a referral incentive for for those who who can share it all right sige paano nga po i-link si Gcash sa spend mo nawawala kasi <laughs> miss apple uh doon sa ano list lang if you are utilizing this as a as a employee reimbursement bank nomination so you can add it as as part of that bank account to in sa sa settings uh, sir jasper per vendor po ang setup ng virtual account card per vendor uh no po per employee so or per user no of that account so if you have multiple user then you can have them uh create cards virtual cards uh within the platform as well Paano nga po i-link si ano si I sorry nagtapa po ba sa spend mo like cash or like CC na may dar- dating na bill then uh more like uh so tapping up to spend mo it's like transferring a fund no it's like a wallet no you have to fund up the the spend mo account for you to utilize the funds as well All right uh mastercard miss ed at the line uh, at the moment it's not uh well the idea here kasi if you are using it for personal use then it defeats the purpose as well so you will most likely use your own card na lang if you plan to use that uh but of course if it's a uh, more of a business related expense or yun sa ginagawa niyo so work niyo then you can i think it's best use for that but 
of course, if you plan to use it for personal, wala namang, I know, wala namang limit for that. But you can surely utilize pen for anything. Yeah, but best for business. All right. Sige. Any more questions? <laughs> Uh, so may mga tanong, pwede nyo akong i-reach out. We can create a group chat or another session para dun sa kusin yeah. nyo pa deeper walkthrough yeah. ng paano ng spend mo. And then, ayun, ang, pwede kasi ito sa mga existing company nyo na gustong mag-level up ng AP kung nahihirapan kayo dun sa old way of processing, disbursement. And then yan, tama, on business, freelancing business. Nakita ko si Ms. Adal nag-comment na pwede raw niya magamit sa business niya as freelancing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any more questions? So, uh, binigay ko naman yung email ni Sergeant. Okay lang naman bagitin yun na lang. Correct. Ako. Correct. Uh, you can also send me the email directly, so we can perhaps set up another time or, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll send you the email back of the paano tayo mag onboarding as well. So if you want that, if you want to proceed to create an account already. Just email me para I can walk you through. Sabay-sabay ba tayo, yeah. sir? For example, gusto ko, sabay-sabay tayo. O, oh, ito unang gagawin. O, oh, sige, sign up Correct. kayo. Okay. okay. I will send you the form as well. Dun sa email. Okay, sige. That's okay. Uh, para, uh, may question ba kayo? Okay ba kayo dun? May something ba kayong napulot? <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Um, Yan. Thank you so much. And then, sige, ano pa question you guys? Thank you, sir. Ashada. So, ayan. So, eh... I think, Sir Shad, meron namang ano dyan. Ano pa bang pwedeng questions? Ako, so far, yun lang. Yung linking ng connect sa, sa Upwork account. Tingin ko, useful yun. Yeah. Mahirap doon. Ang, ang way of ano doon, credit card and PayPal, which is PayPal na napakamahal ng charge. Alam mo yan? Alam. Yeah, very. <laughs> Kung 55, mapalitan sa kanya, 52 na lang. So, dinal, sa niya, dinala yung 3, yung 3 dollars. Di ba? Yun, mahal siya. Any more questions? Okay, matakot guys. Okay lang yung magkano. Sige, another, sorry na lang siguro, sir, no? Uh, yeah. Another set of, of meeting or webinar or yung walkthrough kung paano siya gawin. So, mga interested. So, yan. Kasi ano siya? Updated one. Para again, ano tayo? Updated sa mga latest. Di ba? Hindi tayo maiwan ng ano, teknolohiya. Okay, any more questions before we take pictures? Para hindi natin ang sir naka one or si sir baka busy siya. And then, we can, ano naman, we can stay na lang kung may question kayo sa akin para we can accommodate other questions related to your freelancing. Okay ba yun? So, syempre taking pictures. Okay, smile muna kayo dyan. Okay, yan ang pinaka-favorite part nyo guys. Okay, o. Oh. Uh, ang SOP ni Miss Yan yan, open camera kayo dyan. Okay, one. Two, three. Okay. Sige, one. Wait it lang ah. Second, ano. Para may memories tayong babalikan next year. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, number three. Walang, walang gagala, walang hihinga. Okay. Wait lang ah. One, two, three. Iba wala nang ano eh, pero okay lang yan. Para makita ko din kung sino yung mga umaten kasi uh, ano, session tayo. Two more. Ang dami rin natin ha. Thank you so much guys. Okay. One more. No more question to Sir Shad. Sir, thank you so much for ano ah Thank you Coach Yan. Salamat. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you everybody. So, thank you sir. Just keep in touch po. And like okay, you spend mo ah, kung nasan siya sa LinkedIn, Epi Pages. Okay, like. Uh, uh, you can also follow me on, on LinkedIn. LinkedIn, ah, uh, so Shad. Ayan, Shad Roy de la Cruz. Hanapin nyo lang siya doon para sa updated. Alright? Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, pa. Ah, uh, uh, guys. May tanong kayo, guys, sa akin. So, yung maglambing. Anong kailangan nyo? Anong problem natin? Kamusta ang ating mga journey? May gusto magpagaroti ba dyan? Yan. Ano guys, uh, update. Uh, ang daming, ano ba sasabihin? Ang daming hiring na lumalapit sa akin, pero mostly talaga puro kailangan yung stocks. 
So, um, ayun, may nag-send ulit sa akin ngayon sa LinkedIn. Kaso talagang hinahanapan. Siguro dahil nga tax season, okay? So, pero sa mga newbies, syempre, hindi ko naman kayo pipilitin umatin sa ganun. Pero, sana moving forward, mag-ano kayo. Okay, Sir Shad, thank you po. Mag-ano kayo, mag-upskill kayo papunta doon para kasi puro talaga yun ang kailangan. And then, yung sinabi ko sa inyo, mga accounting firm na mag-open, merong mga accounting firm na kailangan talaga is either enroll agent saka tax preparer. Okay? 1099 po ba yan? Ano daw po yan? Yung presyo po, ano po yun? Ah, yung last session po, sisend po ni Sir, ano? Mga elites, sisend po ni Sir George. Any more questions, guys, sa inyong freelancing journey na hindi nasasagot ni Ms. Tim yan? Na kailangan nyo ng tulong? Coach, may question yeah, ako. Yeah. Pwede ba mag-enroll ng tax preparer kahit wala ka experience sa online? Yes, online yes. Pwede? Pero kung choices po yun eh, kasi may 13 week, may 15 week course. Uh, ang marami mo nagtatanong yan, pag nalilito kayo, yung 13 week course kasi sa mga non-accountant, applicable yun kasi back to basic yan. From basic accounting, papunta sa tax mm-hmm. preparer. Meron doon mga exam, may assignment doon. So, kung di kayo ready mag-assignment, huwag na kayo umatin. Kasi ano lang tayo, mag-i-school buko lang tayo doon. Sino na ka-atin na kay Anna, di ba? Mahirap ba yung mga nag-atin na ng US? Ako kasi school buko. Huwag niyo akong ularan. Uh, uh, pero hindi, uh, seriously, yung tapos after fifth week course, meron ding diretsyo na sa tax from ano. Yun meron naman siya. Ang, so, ang pag-accounting, ang, pag-accounting ka na, pwedeng sa five week. Correct. Uh, pag account na po, pwede na po sa five-week course. Kasi po, uh, diretsyo na po yun sa tax preparation. Kasi po, mm-hmm. madalas po tinatanong, ang worry ko kasi natin pag tinanong, they have, although hindi naman lahat tinahanap, bookkeeping lang, minsan bookkeeping. Pero iba pa rin kasi sometimes may masabi ka something sa client mo na naka-attend ka ng US courses or ganyan. May may plus factor, may konti yung, mm-hmm. alam mo, may spices ng konti. So kung gusto nyo malaman, si share ko na lang yung link. Or nasa group naman siya, pero kung gusto nyo makakita, wala. Mga ready na yan. Wala. Iba akong nag-share dito. Ano na siya? Ano ba sa mga... Ano si Janine? Janine, nandiyan ka ba? Anong... Kailan po ba yung mag-restart? Ay na pala... Ay pala April na. At sa bedrock siya. Opo. Bedrock. Yan po ang ating ano sa mga course. Hindi po namin kaya masyado pong duduguin kami kakainili. So yan po yan. Yan. And then, meron ding, uh, of course, meron na yata si na Joe in- intern din sa loob pag gusto niya maging tax preparer. So, meron na din sa loob. Mm-hmm. Namimili na rin sila ng intern. And mm-hmm. ayan po talaga yung hinahanap sa akin ngayon. Marami pong nag- isa pong accounting firm. At least sana nakapag-tax na at papuntang mm-hmm. enroll agent kasi po, uh, konti lang enroll agent sa Pilipinas. Okay, yun po. Ah, uh, okay lang. So, ito, share ko lang tong isang nag-reach out sa akin na sinare ko. Hindi ko pa na-share ata sa kainyo. Imagine yung sasahurin nyo dito. May nag-reach out sa akin na isa. Ah, uh, 175,000 to 200,000. Sino dito sa CPA? May similarity ba sa Philippine taxation yan? Malayo? Ah, uh, may, may iba. Iba siya. Pero yung, so, ka- okay. Pero yung pinaka- eto etong etong job post na to nakikita niyo to nag-message kayo na sa akin pero kasi yung profile ko kasi sa LinkedIn panilitan ko kasi ng enrolled agent trainee so hmm. nag-reach out siya ito yung kailangan niya tingnan niyo yung sahod guys wow <laughs> pero must be a CPA license in the United States or CPA license issued in the US pero Pilipinas oh. nakatira sa Pilipinas pero hmm. O yun, yun yung Pilipinas na yan. Headquarters in the Philippines. Ayan. Oh. 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 Ito nakagaling, Miss Yan. Ah, talaga ba? Saan dito, Miss Yan? Ito? Miss Mojita? Yan, count on that. Kamusta na? Yan yung ano, whole shift in naka-zoom. Ah, ito ba yan? Ayun pala si Miss Adesso. Yun pala siya. So, ang laki pala. Pero ang ganda pala. ng training dyan. Ang ganda ng training dyan. Grabe. Kaso, naka-zoom kayo maghapon. Zoom maghapon. Nagka-anxiety ako dyan. <laughs> ah, productivity na. May time tracker tapos may productivity? Wala siyang time tracker. Kasi nga, naka-zoom na kayo eh. So, so nakakahiyang tumayo pag iihi ka kung ilang beses kang iihi sa maghapon. 
<laughs> Kasama yung sa counted na ano. Na, yeah. Hindi naman nila kinakaunt. Yung yeah, pagtayo-tayo mo. Kaya lang, syempre, nakikita ka na umaalis ka dun sa harap ng ano mo. Uh, ng workstation mo. Pwede ko sinong interested, pwede ko i-share yung link. At, ay, pwede ko nang i-share dito. Mag-apply, Pero okay. malaki talaga sila magpasweldo. Tsaka maganda yung ano. In, wala siyang benefit na mga SSS and everything. Kasi nga daw, malaki na yung sweldo nila. But, meron silang ano. Ang tawag nila is retreat twice a year. May PTO. Travel, travel yes. May, uh, yung dalawang retreat nila, isang local, isang international. Remote na siya for life. Haha. Remote na po siya. So, wala namang ano, remote na siya. Oo, 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 oo. So, ayan pala. Okay. Ayan. So, ayan. Maraming nagre-reach out. Kasi pinalitan ko kasi yung profile ko na enroll agent. Siguro nag-search engine siya. Kala niya enroll agent ako. So, siya ni nag-reach out. So, yun yung profile, of profile optimization na tinatawag. The moment you change nyo yung title nyo sa profile nyo or US, US tax preparer kayo, masusearch yun. Kayo na yung lalapitan. Yet, so, freelance bookkeeper, accountant. So, once mag-search yung sales navigator sa LinkedIn, mahahagip kayo. Ayan, di ba sabi ko sa inyo, tumamay ka sa LinkedIn. Kasi tumamay ka sa Facebook, makikita nyo lang si Cardo doon. Ay, si Batang Kiapo, pwede doon na kayo tumunta sa ano. Tsaka si, de, si Dirty Linen kayo dyan. Ano ba? Nanonood na Dirty Linen dyan. Ayan. Tama ba? Tatawa-tawa iba dyan. Nanonood dyan. Wala na tayong time dyan eh. Any question? Sa application, kamusta ang mga apply nyo? May nag-reply na ba? May nagpa-interview na ba? Okay. Tapos pala may isa pa. Si Nathan ng Ecom Balance nag-reach out ulit. Binago nila yung time zone. 2 a.m. to 12 midnight. Pero panggabi pa rin kasi yun. So, madaming applyan. Pero again, hindi ko ka talaga kasi kayo ini-encourage magpanggabi. Ayoko naman si Sinyo. Kasi sa una, yes, masaya. Pero pagdating talaga ng araw, lalo sa mga sa mga golden girls and golden boys dyan, hindi na siya applicable. Okay? O, diba? O, saan pa miss yan yan kumukuha ng ano, ng mga client? Ayan, puro US talaga may kailangan yun. Madami po, indeed, pero agency kasi sa mga, ano eh, agency kasi sa online jobs, Upwork, meron din, hindi ako nakasabi sa Upwork. FB pages, saka FB group. Try nyo. Sige, bigyan ko kayo. Ito, sige, pipribig ko kayo kasi mababait kayo. Sige, bigay ko ito ha. Pero, umitin nyo ha. Sige, may papribis kayo sa akin. Mabilisan ng mata. Ikopya na ito. Nabigay ko na ito sa mga coaching ko pero ito nang wala namang ano po. Mag, uh, mag-attend kayo ng mga group niyan, lahat yan. 2.50 yan, tumambay kayo dyan. Is oras ng gabi. Kaya tumambay kayo sa Malate at sa Quezon Ave. Diyan na kayo tumambay. Okay? Yung mga lalaki natin dyan, mag tumambay sa Pegasus. Ay sa Malate. Diyan tayo tumambay sa Epi Group Community. <laughs> Ayan. May mga ano dyan. Ibig sabi ito, One House Gilbert. Ba't ko alam? <laughs> Ayan. Kasi nung araw, ano yan, di ba? Uso yun. Tapos doon naman ako, Pegasus daw. Yung mga may mababae daw sa laman doon. Totoo kaya yun. So anyway, ano yan, mga FB group, meaning, pwede kayo dyan, ano, uh, mag-join mag lalo mga babae, mag-observe kayo ng mga activities dyan. Nakita nyo may mga nagpa-free webinar sa akin, galing yun sa mga group, sa ina-invite ko, minamarites ko sila, nire-reach out ko, na pwede ba kayo mag-guest speaker, ganyan. So gusto nila yun. So mag-reach out kayo, mag-observe kayo doon. Kasi lahat yung business owners, meaning, Baka gusto nyo yung mga nagtatanong paano ba mag-serve ng coaches. Ayan, para mas madali for you. Mag-observe. Tapos pag merong may nagtatanong, bigay nyo link. Tumulong kayo sa loob. I-like nyo yung post nila. I-cheer leading nyo sila. Create kayo ng conversation. Kasi dyan ko nakuha yung isa kong client. Yung meeting ko bukas. Nanganak lang, nanganak siya. Basta may FB page. Tapos gines niya ako sa group niya. Ni-refer niya isang client na cleaning services. Ngayon, may isa na naman siyang ni-refer. So, mga nganak siya. Again, di ba, turo ko sa inyo, lagi kayong maggawa ng way para hindi kayo maubusan ng client. Rather than nasa online jobs kayo at sabi niyo, puro agency, doon kayo magmasig-masig. Yan, tambay kayo dyan. Okay ba? Yan na, freebies na yan na. 
So bukas may bayad na yan. Okay. Hindi, pinamimigay ko na yun. Baka kasi nakalimutan ng iba. Yan. Wala namang ano dyan. It's up to you. Sa dami niyan, maguluhan kayo ngayon. Tapos hindi nyo na, mata- hindi nyo na maikita si accounting people kasi super puro chicks yun eh. Puro babae yata yan. May question po. May nagtaas ng kamay. SLC. Sino po yun? Sia. Sino po yung nag-raise ng kamay? Question pa sa application. Kailangan ng tulong. Sure kayo ha. O, gabi na. Mag-apply na tayo. Alam nyo na. Walang matutulog. Maghanap-hanap na tayo ng kabuhayan showcase para sa ano. Para sa summer. And then, pasukan na ulit next year. San ba? Travel? Ano bang goal niya? Travel? Uh, bakasyon? Summer? Sa Boracay? Naka, si, piso, ano, piso per yata ang subupak na yun. Hindi na nagpabuk. Hindi kasi ako apektado kasi hindi, wala akong plan mag-travel ng local eh. Okay. Question po sa mga parang may bago akong mga nakikita dito. Wala kayong questions so we can ano na, we can adjourn. Ayun. Ay, sorry pala. Uh, update ko lang kayo sa activities next week. Ano ba? Ayun. Sa Sabado, meron ulit free webinar si Joe. Lagi na may free webinar. And then, ongoing po yung mga Baka nakalimutan nyo pong may upcoming ang um, accounting people lang na gusto nyo ng Australia, yung mga gusto ng pang umaga. Uh, I-up ko lang. Tagal lang ha. Ito na naman. Ito naman si ano. Si, si Ata pala. Ang kalimot eh. Ayan. So, ayan po yung calendar of activities. Tapos, ano March? March na, no? Ayan. Enroll agents free webinar. Parang tapo. At ano nga ba tayo? Hindi ko nalala. Tapos, eto na ngayon. Suspend mo na. Tapos si basic zero sa mga nag-fill up ng form sa edit siya ka sa ano. Tapos may free taxation. Ay, ba sa edit ng ata, hindi ko po alam ha. Pero parang, and then may real estate po. And then may free webinar ulit si Joe. And then real estate dalawang araw. Tapos Australia na. Sa so gusto ng pang-umaga, ayan po kay Coach Alma. Message nyo lang po kami. And then sa April, April ba kami? Parang wala na. Ayan pa muna po. Uh, real estate tsaka Australian book sa mga gusto mag-upskill, lalo yung mga ayaw pong maga. Here, any, anything pa po? Sure kayo, wala kayong tanong? Miss Yan, ang yung client. Pardon? Pardon? Okay. Andito yung mga anak ko, intern ko, si Miss Rosie. Miss Rosie, ikaw, mag-share ka na lang. Uh, ayan, si Miss Rosie, as interns, ano ang nadidiscover mo sa totoong buhay sa QuickBooks online. Pa-share. Uh, sandali po. Marinig ba ko? Yes po. Uh, yung first day ko nung, nung Sunday yata, nung kasama ko na ang six interns, naguluhan talaga ako kasi isa lang ang nag-navigate kami, nakatingin lang sa monitor, parang nahihilo ako. Buti na lang, following day, So may isa-isa na kaming assignment at ang masabi ko, yung pag-navigate ng QuickBooks, para lang siyang uh, sinangad na, nakakainin mo na lang. Kasi parang feed, uh, pinag, spoon feed na lang ng QuickBooks sa mga accountant at saka bookkeeper. Ang ano mo na lang yan, yung... Intindihin mo na lang kasi lahat binigay na doon. So ikaw na bahalang mag-digest kung anong gawin mo. Kasi lahat na nandun na. Kung, kung punta ka ng banking, kung ano mong gawin. Pagpasok mo, magsabi na kung mag, like for example, mag-invoice ka. Parang may command na ba na ito ang gagawin mo, next, next, ganun na lang. I-explore mo na lang ang buong... Nasa harapan mo, yon ang pagkaintindi ko sa QuickBooks. Kaya so noon, worried ako talaga, paano yung navigate ang QuickBooks? Baka mahirap. So hindi pala mahirap, huwag kayong matakot. Pag nasa harapan nyo na ang totoong client na transactions, uh, huwag kayong kabahan. Kasi sabi nga sa isang intern nga, ay, huwag kang mag- matakot magkamali. Maando naman yan. So, totoo yun. Kung magkamali ka pag after five minutes, ay, mali pala ako. So, balikan mo na lang, iando, tapos i-correct mo na lang. Yun ang experience ko for two days. Parang masabi ko, 
Oh. Parang masabi ko, wow, ang galing ng QuickBooks. Parang sinubuan ka lang niya, yun ang nasasabi ko. At ma-enjoy mo talaga. Nunguyain mo na lang. Para ka ng baby doon kasi hindi ka na mag-e-enter. Yung takot nyo na paano mag-enter ng invoice, paano mag-create uh, ng bills. Actually, sa totoong buhay po, once sinabi ni client na nakalink na sa bank feeds, all you have to do is categorize. So, oh, yun lang ang gawin sa inyo. Yun lang. Although, ayan, gusto, ayan, at saka gusto ko makit, marinig nyo sa mga, si, kasi yung mukhari na iba, ay, ano na ako, ganito, edad na ako, baka hindi ako marunong. So, ay, si Mama na ako. How how young are you, Miss Rosel, Miss Tita Rosie? How young are you? 58. Kaya oh, 58. 2 years na lang. Oh. Saya ko sa inyo na bata pa na discover na ang freelancing. Ako nga excited ako at the age of 58 kayo pa. So, yung dreams niyo. Dami pa sure. no. Oh. Si ako 24 pa lang excited ako sa freelancing journey ko malayo pa mararating ko. Ano na lang si Ma'am, 'di ba? Kayo nga, iyon yung nasabi ko sinasabi, yung mga bata ngayon, don't take ano, wag niyo itapon yung opportunities. Kung alam lang namin to talaga nung 10 to 10 20 years from now, baka maaga na kami nagretiro. Alam niyo 'yon, yung ganung pakiramdam, baka lang, pero life is an talaga eh. May reason and timing po lahat. So never too late, walang late. Walang sayang na oras, walang sayang opportunity. Hinahain na ni Lord sa inyo. Sabi nga, susubuin nyo na lang. Okay? Kaya yung may mga tanong, huwag kayong matakot na community. Kaya nga tayo nandito. And isumbong nyo kay Tool po yung mga admin kong coaches na hindi tumutulong ha. Kasi ipapatawag ko sa principal office. Coach, may yes. i-share ako uh, tungkol yes. sa optimization ng Facebook. Yeah. Kasi yung Facebook ko noon, <clears throat> hindi siya naka-public. Naka Pinablik ko, di ba? Required mo dapat i-public. Pinablik mm-hmm. kong, nag-comment lang ko doon kasi may nagsabi, may nagsabi sa Facebook, sa group, di ko lang, basta sa feeds, sabi niya, uh, I need help. Uh, hindi ko na alam kung saan napunta ang pera ko sa business. Nag-comment lang ako, humanap ka ng bookkeeper. On that five minutes, nag Message niya sa akin. Ma'am, pwede ba kita maging bookkeeper? O, e-commerce siya na Pinay. Sabi ko, ha? <laughs> Saan mo nakita? Kasi hindi, hindi talaga ako into e-commerce. Pero sabi niya, kasi nag-comment ka na humanap ka ng bookkeeper. So, hahanapin kita. So, yun ang isang strategy sa sinabi ni Coach niya. Lahat pala ng sinabi ni Coach, ikalawa na yan na Oh, Nostradamus kasi ako nahuhulaan ko na mangyayari. Ako talaga yung anak ni Nostradamus. Yan talaga yung totoo. Nahuhulaan ko. Papunta. <laughs> Hindi kasi na algorithm niya. Ito yung guys, papakita ko. Tama si Ma'am. Pag nag-comment kayo, lalo yung may kailangan ng tulong pag nag-comment kayo, napaka-powerful man. Alam niyo bang pag nag-comment lang ako na ito yung maging helpful lang talaga kayo. Punta kayo dito sa bookkeeping na to. Itong group na to. I- I- maki-join kayo dito. Si, Bad- si-, si Maring Veronica. Marami dyan nag-share. So yung mga expert dyan na mga basic accounting, pwede kayong mag-share. Tapos yung sa may naghahanap, o oh, ayan o, oh. so mga sell, ben mo, matututo kayo. So pag nag-comment ka dyan at nakita yan, ginagawa ko yan, may nag-reach out. May nag-reach out talaga. Ah, sino ba yung isa nag-comment? Basta may nag-reach out yung mga iba kung ano nandyan, sumasagot sila. Tapos mag-message na lang sila sa akin. Magugulat ka na lang may messages ka na nakaspam. I saw your post in one of the epic group, blah, blah, blah. Ayan, no, this is deeper. Part-time someone who can help. So, pag nag-comment ako dyan, oh, hi, I'm Mayanian Labonete, I'm doing freelance bookkeeper, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Di ba? Kita nyo yan? Yan. Yun yung iba pang pwede nyong tamba yan. Hindi lang puro kay, ano, kayo, kay batang kaya po. Yan. Dito kayo tumambay. Okay ba? Yan. Yun yung power of Uh, having an FB and commenting. Nakakabudol uh, siya. May tanong pa kung saan kukuha. Nabigay ko na FB group. Nabigay ko na yung ibang secret paano mag-comment. And then meron ding local. Ayan. Tapos, ayun, pag tagalike ka, taga, yun sinasabi ko kung cheerleading. Pwede yun. Tapos, meron ako dito nakausap. 
yun, yung kaka-comment ko, kaka-ingi ko sa FB, may nag-reach out sa akin local, pero hindi ko kasi siya hinahawakan local. Patulong sa BIR, na tax mapping daw sila sa QC. So, binigay kong refer yung taga-accounting people. So, ganun na ako magtapon din. Sa pag ko kaya tinatapon ko sa hindi ko kaya kong gumawa para sa akin. Kasi, sayang yung opportunity. Alam na mga nandito yan, bigla na lang ako nagtatapon ng client. Di ba, Miss Adele? Di ba? <laughs> Kaya dapat yes. ako kayo ha, pag sinabi kong, ayun, magugulat na lang kayo meron. Marami po. At huwag kayong matakot, sumubo, at mag-try. Okay? Lalo si Miss Rosie, nakaka-inspire o, di ba? Dalawa ang aki, si Miss Nena, tsaka si Miss Rosie po ang nasa 50s, na ngayon inaaral yung Pickbox Online, uh, para yun sa mga natatakot na humawak. Uh, pero kasi minamaster po na ng mga intern namin yung libro, once okay na sila, ang goal ko kasi yung mga interns ko, sila naman magtuturo sa bagong pasok na interns. Mali nyo si Ms. Rossi na magturo sa inyo. Bakit? Ba't ko din na duplicate yun? Kasi gusto ko, the moment na matuto sila, mas matitrain silang sa quick box kapag pinasa nila yung knowledge sa iba. Totoo yun, di ba? Kaya kung meron yung panit dyan mag-share, Magsalit, magto, magturo na kayo kasi drone kayo gagaling sa kaka-share tapos napipitch nyo na pala siya na hindi nyo na mamalayan. And it comes naturally na during interview. So kung may talent kayo, sabihin nyo lang, coach, gusto kong magpa-free webinar. I think si Miss Adele, narinig ko, mag, di ba Miss Adele, tama ba? Tsaka si, si Israel. Israel, bigyan mo nga yung link. Magpa-register sa free, ano mo? Sabi nga marami daw, hindi ko alam kung ilan natatakot tuloy ako. Hindi, <laughs> oh, meron na sa inyo link. Opo, kasi po, para po lahat natututo, alam nyo po yun, walang, walang baka na-upload na kayo sa updated. So, nagbibigay po sila ng free and kawang gawa po yan. Yan po yung community natin. Okay? So, pakiplug yung mga shows nyo. May ako, may mall tour ako next week. Eh, kayo po, kayo po sa ng mall tour nila. Uh, yun pong sa akin, sabi ko nga, ampunin ko yung mga non-accountant. Magtuturo po ako ng basic accounting kasi para masundan na ng yung mga webinar ni na ano, Coach Roma at saka sino pa ba? <laughs> yung sa QuickBooks. Para pagka nag, nag-webinar sila doon, kahit pa paano, naintindihan na nila. May form na po ba kayo, Miss Anel, for the registration? O kami na magpa <laughs> Siguro, kayo na lang, coach. Actually, oh, talaga ano yun eh. Doon lang sa room namin. Eh, siya yung mula man sa iba. Nag-ano nag, ako, nagsabi nga ako na kung gusto nilang magpaturo, ganyan. Ayan, napag-usapan na namin. <laughs> si Miss Adele pala, kung di nyo nam alam, si Miss Adele is din po ng accountancy, tama, Miss Adele? <laughs> Dati po yun. <laughs> Anas, dojante mo ako, di sana ulo lahat yung grade ko, no? <laughs> Great to sa accounting eh. Dapat na ito pabi ako Miss Adel noong araw. Yan. Yan <laughs> ba? Yan. Pag po ano, uh, makipag-ano na lang kayo kung gusto nyo rin na mag-attend, makipag-coordinate po kayo kay Coach Harold at saka kay Coach Roma. Kailan po yan? Tingin nyo po kailan? Kag- ay, bukas ng gabi. Seven. Bukas oh, ng gabi. Ayun, agad-agad. So, bigyan nyo lang yung Zoom tapos pasok lang kayo. So, Ang assignment, may, uh, kasi may binigay na ako sa kanila na assignment. Assignment. Yung po mga pupunta, gusto ko po may baon na kayong assignment. Ang assignment ko po ay maghanap ng account titles. Yan, maghanap po kayo ng mga account titles para mihan po ng account titles. Ah, like, ah, account titles, expenses, liabilities, prepaid? Lahat, lahat ng account titles. Account titles para sa asset, liability, equity, sub, expense, sub revenue. Sub-account po ba? What, suspense account? Mga ganun sagutan. Ay, grabe naman. Basta lahat ng account titles and then, tsaka na lang natin pag-usapan kung paano yun pinag, pinaghahati-hati. <laughs> Diba? May pa-beauty contest sa account or ano? <laughs> na may nagpapong yung account, ma'am. Ayan, mga batuhang ano. Gusto nyo ba yan? Ayan, yung magpapapri na pala baka sa kusunyong maten. Okay? Tapos si si Israel, I think sa Sabado, hindi ko alam kung may schedule kasi ako, baka gusto nyo umaten. Israel, meron ka din, di ba? Uh, coach sa Sabado po, um, ang objective lang po kasi noon, kasi nung nag, mag my day ako, ang daming ng my dollars, Ang daming nag-how, how, 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 paano magsimula, gano'n. So, eh, 
tinatamad akong mag ano sagutin ni isa isa kaya sabi ko mag webinar ko na lang para masagot okay, silang na. lahat opo ah, din kasi dollars na usapan din na peso opo yun eh hindi naman na po si kayo beginner po <laughs> saka konti lang po kasi yung ano yung sa Zoom ay di ba 100 lang po at ang pwedeng pumasok tapos 40, 40 minutes lang yung free eh wala hindi pa ako nakasubscribe sa ano Sige, pero ramin kita. Sabihan mo lang ako po. 500 yun. Punuin natin. Sige, mag-invite ka. Sige, coach. Sige, opportunity. Yung sinasabi ko, minsan yung iba, hindi yun namamala yung lead magnet na yun. Yung ginagawa niyo. Yun yung mga tips ko sa inyo, lead magnet. Nakita niyo ako nagmamay day. Way of, ano yun? Way of uh, lead magnet. Yan. Sa so, kayo din, pwede kayo mag-share ng anything sa inyo. You need the bookkeeper. Tapos nakikita kayo na, ay, kailangan ko ng bookkeeper local. So, Ang daming ways para maging uh, tuloy-tuloy yung marketing nyo. Yun yung way of marketing nyo. So, unlimited possibilities. So, yun yung mga hacks. So, diba? Nakaroon sila tuloy ng idea paano mag-freelance bookkeeper. Nakatulong pa kayo. Yun yung sabi ko sa inyo. Then, it will follow. Alright? Anything pa? Ayan, kay Ms. Adal bukas. Coach yan. Sa FP po ba? Pwede po ba? Personal. Alam nyo ginawa ko? Sige, uh, total nandito tayo. Uh, ako, okay like na rin yung pages ko. Pinag-usapan na natin yung pages. Eh. Kasi ako, ever since talaga, nung nags, nagsimula ako mag-insurance company, lahat po ng business related ko, ginagawa ko ng epi pages. Ito po nung nasa insurance ako, nagbibenta po ako ng, ito kasi company ko, di ba, manufacturing ng aso, <laughs> ng, ng lupa. nung kung ano-ano, tapos meron din kondo, task wise, syempre may pang freelancing. Bakit? Para dito po, targeted po yung audience nyo. Pwede po kung gumawa kayo ng FB pages. Tapos dito nyo lahat, i-share nyo yung link. Tapos para pang nagbigay kayo ng content, lahat ng target audience nyo lang ang makakakita kung ayaw yung usama sa personal nyo. Tama ba? So, sige, dahil pinilit nyo ako, like nyo yung ano ko. Ah. Yan. And I mean is, Uh, kung natatakot kayo sa personal, pwede kayong gumawa ng pages para uh, ano siya, talagang dun lang, salang-sala. Pwede nyo gawin accounting services nyo dito kasi may si Taswise nandito rin eh. Diba? Si Taswise, nandito si Taswise. Nandito rin si Taswise. So, kung gusto nyo magtayo ng ano, Taswise, dito lang din siya. Okay. Kayo din mag-handle niyan. So, yan siya. Okay? Clear ba yun? So, mga natatakot mag-personal, nasagot ko ba yung tanong mo? Ah, Tapos, ano, link-in talaga kayo, guys. Pero ako kasi personal, kasi pag niligay niyo yung pangalan mo, although hindi nila ako lang yan, yan, di ba? Marian Labonete. Lalabas pa rin yung pangalan ko. So, ina-identify talaga nila. Pati sa link-in, hahanapin talaga pangalan niyo. Di ba? Na, 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 na-search nyo na ba sarili niyo sa link-in? na-try nyo na ba? Tingnan nyo lalabas sa pangalan ko para ano kayo. Para alam nilang totoong tao kayo. Okay, so Google nyo. Ayan. Dito unang lalabas. Diba? Pakita agad kayo na totoo kayong tao. O, andyan agad picture ko. Nakita nyo ba yan? Na-try nyo ba i-search yung sarili nyo kung buhay kayo or katang ano lang kayo, katang isip lang kayo? So, yan. yan yung magpapatunay na legit kayo. Pero mauna dyan si LinkedIn. Kaya ako kayo pinapagawa ni LinkedIn. Kasi yan po ang identity nyo talaga as professional. Okay. Add nyo lang ako doon. Nandun po ako. Okay? Isa pang hack. Kung gusto nyo magkatrabaho sa LinkedIn, ganito ang gawin nyo guys. Kung napapagod na ulit kayo mag-apply, ganito po mag sa LinkedIn mag-apply. Uh, pwede kayong maraming gumagawa nito ay open for Open for work. Di ba makikita kayo? Opening, open for work. Basta mag-post po kayo dyan ng something na you're looking for opportunities para may ganun. Sino gumagawa niyo? Looking for, open for work. Merong post dito. Di ba nakatry na po kayo nun? Alam niyo yun, di ba? May opening for work. Tapos magpo-comment ako doon. Where, ano, uh, commenting for a better, wider reach. Para lahat ng connection ko, ahanapin kayo ng mga, mga, ano, mga agency. Wala ko makita eh. So, dito ako tumitingin. Ito si Hudson. Ito yung sa taan namin. Bookkeeping metrics. 
So, siya yung CEO namin. So, ako yung CEO namin. So, ilalike ko siya siya. Magdam yan. Okay, meron dyan. Tapos, ilike-like yun yung mga kapatid nyo para magkaroon kayo ng a-up kasi yan. Yan. Okay ba? Ready ka dyan. Ready kayo dyan tumambay. Wala akong makitang sample eh. Basta meron dyan, uh, opening for work, then magko-comment ako. Sabi niyo, miss yan pa comment naman para madami yung connection. Okay? Any questions? So we can adjoin. Nakakain na tayo ng dinner. Ayan. Wala na po. Sure kayo? Next, ano na lang natin ulit yung ano ah, upward optimization ulitin ko pag may time. Okay? Tsaka yung loom. Oo, para yung ano. Panamihin nyo yung views ko, malapit na ako mag 4,000 hours. 4,000 hours. Nakapera na tayo. Okay. Ulitin ko na lang yung upward optimization para kasi ang dami kasing nasasayangan talaga sa ano. Hindi kasi ako gumagasos doon. Kasi uh, may talaga pong may hacks talaga po si upward. Kung hindi ko pa natuturo, ulitin ko na lang. Pero hindi na ulit ako tumatambay. Pero kaya yun nakakareceive ako ng mga invitation kahit wala akong connects. Ayan, ano ba to? As years. So, may mga interview, interview. Sila na yung ano, sila na yung lumalapit. Pag ganyan. Invitation for interview. Ayan. Kahit di ako nagsasubmit. Ayan. Okay. May technique po kasi yan. May hacks po yan. Pero, pag newbie ka, hindi siya advisable kasi magastos. Mahal. Kung $22, $22 na kasi ang ano ngayon eh. Yung connects na 180. 12. Tapos niyo pa sigurado kung ano, kung mapapansin ka. Kaya sayang, kung di mo alam gamitin yung Upwork, magagawa na lang tayo na separate session, Upwork optimization type. Step by step, open nyo yung Upwork nyo, tapos tingnan nyo yung pagkakaiba. And then kahit newbie ka, you can charge $10 per hour doon. Gusto nyo ba yun? Kahit newbie ka, kasi mas maganda yung may new account. Actually, pangat mong account ko na po to. Kahit newbie ka, wait ako lang ha, Maganda nga yung newbie, yung fresh na fresh. Kasi ano siya, siya yung may tendency maging rising talent kesa yung mga old na. So, pwede kayo mag-charge ng $10 per hour. May, ito na kasi meron in-offset dito sa ano ko, pero yan. yan. Pwede mong taasan pa yan. So, nag-stop lang ako, pero rising talent pa din ako. Ayan. Tapos, andito yung bloom videos ko. Diba? Wala naman akong binago dyan. Tapos, certificate lang. Yan. Yan lang, bas dyan. Okay, yan. Tapos, di ko pa sure, inaaral ko pa ulit to, busy lang po si Miss Yan yan. I'm planning to, ibalik to, alam ko, na-stop na kasi ako dito. Agency. Pwede kasi ako maghanap ng work using this, ano, task-wise. Inaaral ko pa ulit, busy lang po ako, pero, plano ko siyang ibalik. Paano kumuha ng client. Tama? Para i-outsource. May client account. May client account ako po. Ay, ikaw din. Ayun yung pala si Anna Supin. Ayun pala yung admin namin. Okay? Okay na tayo. More questions. Andiyan po yung admin namin. Thank you, Joel. Si Mavi. And then si Tina. Andiyan. Iba namin. Ano. Andiyan si Sir JC. Sir Jane. Andiyan din. Alright? Okay na po tayo? Pack up na?